Hello everyone. This is your Love and Finance Tarot Guidance for the month of June 2022. If you are joining in from podcast land, I would like to let you know this video is a monthly feature included in my subscription packages, which you can find available on my website, tarotbycecilia.com, the Patreon app, my members only area on Facebook, and now also on YouTube. Feel free to contact me for more information on accessing these if you need help. June has been on my radar for quite some time, so let us see what is happening, beginning with the direct station of Mercury at 26 degrees Taurus on June the 3rd. You know the drill. When Mercury goes retrograde and direct, the effects of the retrograde and the shenanigans of the little trickster are greatly amplified. Give yourself about five days before attempting to move forward with anything of importance. Saturn begins its annual retrograde on the 4th at 25 degrees Aquarius, not to go direct until October 23rd at 18 degrees Aquarius. While Saturn still wants you to learn when retrograde, it is in a weakened state and tends not to be as much of a party pooper. Mercury re-enters home sign of Gemini on June 13th through July the 5th. It is time to take care of all of the errands on your to-do list. For a long time, I had been mentioning a change which is taking place for the better, happening at the full moon, 23 degrees Sagittarius, on the 14th. This will be the second supermoon of 2022, and just like last month at the Scorpio eclipse, the before and after energies are very different. Finally, the Mercury retrograde is completely behind you, as Mercury leaves post-shadow on the 18th, at four degrees Gemini. All systems are go, at least for a little while longer. The sun enters Cancer on June 21st, at the time of the summer winter solstice. Here it is almost home, and there is something happening at this time which brings a wish your way. Venus leaves home in Taurus to move into Gemini from June 22nd through July 17th. The pleasures derived from this transit tend to come more through intellectual stimulation as opposed to sensual. Meaningful conversations can occur here. Neptune begins its annual retrograde on June 28th at 25 degrees Pisces, its home sign going direct on December 3rd at 22 degrees Pisces. Ooh, that 22 degree mark. Mm. This is a time of increased dreaming, deeper intuition, and being more emotionally sensitive to the needs of others. Also on the 28th, there will be a new moon, seven degrees Cancer. This new moon can possibly work in your favor, provided you do not go overboard. The moon is at home in Cancer, and the aspects lend themselves to a fairly social atmosphere, but do try to be on your best behavior. As for aspects, we start the month with a square between Mars and the North Node on the 3rd. Try not to end up on the unpopular side of things. On the 6th, the Sun will sextile Chiron, bringing an opportunity to face an old wound head on and bring some form of healing to it. Mercury trines Pluto on the 10th, and with Mercury now direct and in home sign of Gemini, you can have some truly meaningful conversations to help you achieve the change you desire. The 11th brings a conjunction with Venus and Uranus. If you are prone to being impulsive, you may want to proceed with caution here, as it will be too easy to jump into a new relationship or making some risky financial moves. It feels like a cross between go big or go home and nothing ventured, nothing gained. The possibilities of success or failure have no in-between here. Mars will conjunct Chiron on the 15th. Turn your anger and passion into useful energy in order to face your deepest wounds. On the 16th, the Sun will try and Saturn, and at last your rewards are arriving. You have put in the work, and now you can reach your goals, finally. On the, also on the 16th, Venus conjuncts the North Node. Venus, of course, is at home in Taurus and wants you to have more than just your creature comforts. Something here feels quite special coming your way. The final aspect for the 16th is the square between the Sun and Neptune. This is a deceptive transit 
intends to bring out the scammers and anyone else who may wish to deceive you. It is not a good day to sign anything of importance. Venus squares Saturn on the 18th. Can you say stressful? When it comes to love and money, you may choose to carve out some alone time for yourself. And knowing this transit is coming, it is advisable not to go overboard with spending. Relationships can stress you out, and finances could be feeling a pinch. Venus then forms a sextile with Neptune on the 19th. You can begin to put that nasty square from the prior day behind you and enjoy your relationships. Both are in home signs during this transit. On the 20th, Mercury will sextile Jupiter. Take advantage of this social time and be open to meeting new people. This is a much better time for the signing of documents. This is a good time to plan for your future. Venus trines Pluto on the 21st. This bodes well for both love and money. And if you have been wanting something special for yourself, now may be the time to I can't talk. Be the time to splurge. Mercury will sextile Chiron on June 27th. Talk about it. Whether it is current pain or pain you have fixed, someone can benefit from the conversation. Also on the 27th, Mars will sextile Saturn. This is a recipe for success. You can possess the drive, ambition, and determination to see your projects through and to successfully reach your goals. The sun squares Jupiter on June 28th. It is best not to be too cocky at this time, for it will certainly come back to bite you. Grandiose behavior will be possible from some, and a tendency to be a bit over the top, to be a bit over the top could be prevalent. Try to curb your enthusiasm to some extent and avoid going overboard with everything and overindulging. Also on the 28th, Venus will sextile Jupiter. Figuring out how to enjoy this aspect while dealing with the Sun-Jupiter square will probably depend upon your personal makeup. This is a special transit and one which can bring incredible good luck and good fortune to many. You know me when it comes to sayings and trying to spit them out sometimes. It's not always easy. But as I'm looking at these cards, I get the sense of, I want to say, standing on the backs of those who have come before you, all right? Whether it's, you know, tried and tested or whatever the case may be, there is this knowing that's here, right? Does it come through what is traditional? It's hard to say, but it could be, all right? There's definitely something intellectual and stable about it. Now, I don't know if this is the mercury factor, but I do know we have, you know, a little bit of time there while mercury is still in taurus and it's it, there's just this you know solid slower moving energy that's there and then i see here like when we come up to the full moon in Pi uh, no, pisces sagittarius and i i think that will be an interesting reading when i put it out okay i just want you guys to be aware of that and make sure that you listen because really after that there's change there's change and there's this you know you need to be flexible you need to be able to bend because you know your patience is gonna pay off and i i really say you know, like being patient up until the solstice okay is probably going to work in your favor because it's after that and if you've been listening for a while, you know that feeling that I get that there's this, I love when the energies shift seasons, right? So the solstice is a seasonal shift and, you know, you have the next three months of, like, you know, changes in your future coming your way. They are meant to balance. They are meant to help you to overcome, all right? There's uh, what's it, the new moon is in Cancer. You know, there's a little bit of a, it's almost like a stalemate that's there, but then it's not. It doesn't last long, all right? I don't know how to explain that other than, you know, if you're locking horns with someone, you're more than likely not going to stay that way for very long. Oh, man, you know, surviving relationships 
And finally, taking back your power. Yes, there's good news here. This, this is a month we have been waiting for, and with good reason. There is definitely something that's here. You know, finally seeing some things coming to fruition. It's time, all right? I've seen everybody going through all this, you know, stuff, and believe me, I'm right there with you, okay? All the sacrifices that have been made, it, it's, it's, it's time. It's time for it to change. It's time for you to finally be able to, you know, meet your goals and rise to the challenges. And, you know, it's like they don't even see you coming. It's, that's the only way I can put it, okay, is in that kind of a perspective. Even with, you know, Mars and Jupiter in Aries this month with that fiery push, you know, to get you going. They're, the way things are playing out, it's not done in this overly bossy manner. Like I said, it's kind of more like you're, you're sneaking in the back door before anybody even realizes that you've made it. <laughs> okay, now, boy, just like getting back, getting back to, you know, maybe not where you were, you know, a few years ago or whatever, but getting back on track, looking for that balance again, better health, and choosing directions. I like this. I see little dots of news in here, okay? And one of the things I always feel like I have to remind everyone is that news does not always need to be that one big thing. You know, sometimes you pin your hopes on that what I'm telling you is going to be the thing because you can only see that one thing matters. Well, let me tell you, there's a lot more than one thing that matters so you know allow yourself to be open to the possibilities that are there so that you can take on new directions uh, let me see what we've got here you just you know you've hung in there you've hung in there for what you believe wow I you know it, it's it, it's just this is pride month okay and you're gonna see the celebrations all over for Pride Month. But whether you celebrate it or not, you are going to have your own things to celebrate because you've been planting the seeds and there's growth that's there, okay? And the, the creation, the, the power, all right? It's like, it's been a long time since you felt like you were really in your power you know, where you're being true to yourself. I'm just saying. All right. Boy, Uranus. I mentioned Uranus in there somewhere. All right. If you, you don't have to go back and listen, you can always read every day on the calendar. But let me tell you something. When Uranus comes up and it's got you like jumping <laughs> to beat the band because it comes up with some crazy things that you didn't see coming, what, what can you do? Go with the flow it isn't always easy but sometimes if you resist the changes that are there see uranus has a way of even if what it does comes across as oh my god what just happened right you know the outcome or the result of you know the event that took place is probably something which is really better for you in the long run so, you know, not overreacting when Uranus is involved is always a good thing. You know, your plans are really going to really start working. Like I said, things are coming to fruition here. And relationships are important. I think what's even more important is how you treat people, okay? And it's very important to, you know, make connections that are positive and you know being being good to one another sharing not not in conflict that that feels like a big deal to me now boy to be totally carefree is it possible i don't think just yet because i feel like there might be other things that are weighing you down all right but is there a skip in your step in June at some point? 
I think there's a good chance. All right. I really, truly do. Because what you've been waiting for is like the big moment to arrive, the big transformation, the, the what you want. It, it, it's here. It's like things are going to start moving. And, you know, it's, it's a victory for you to say the least. But I think that being kind is at the center of it. And I don't know why. I'm not saying, like, be kind so you get good things happening to you. But there definitely must be some form of karma which is attached. Because it's it's there. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, just give me a second. Because between the 14th and the 21st, something is happening. First, I want to say, something, you know, someone's getting their, their just due finally at long last and we shall see because i think it's someone everyone knows ah but there's more than that going on forget about the people who are in the news this is about you and what you have done and what you have been wanting now here's the question when all of a sudden let's say that wish comes true and the question is do you really want it? Do you really still want it? This is a big deal. All right. It really, truly is. You know, your hopes and, wow. Your hopes and dreams have been pinned on all of this for so long. I, you know, there's, there's a lot that you still have on your, um, what's, what's the saying? I don't know, but on the drawing board, I suppose. Things that you need to take care of and work on. I think that you'll find that June's a really good month to be doing just that. Because any frustration that you feel with anything that may be out of your hands, there's there, there's like a, a, yeah, I can't even get it out. Because it's like, I feel like there's a story that's coming in. But you're not in charge of this new story that's entering your life. You probably think, but she's crazy. What is she talking about? Trust me, when it comes and then it happens, you need to let it play out on its own. Because let's say the story includes another individual. You don't have any control over what that other person does. Okay, it's up to you to do you. How many times have we talked about that? To take charge, to, you know, it's time. June June is a month where, you know, you're going to rise above all of your, your issues here. Oh, my goodness. It just, it has been, it has been a long haul. It has been so frustrating. And, you know, so many of you who don't, don't feel like yourself, you know, some days. And just don't know what to do about it. Hmm. <laughs> You're kind of just like, and I don't want to say meandering, but not really feeling in charge, you know, coming up to the full moon in Sagittarius. Remember I said that there's, you know, some different feelings here throughout the month. And, you know, just like last month where there was a change before and after, this month there is a change before and after as well. And there's something that's happening with this full moon where you might be, you know, thinking to yourself that it was just coincidence. I think it's probably Jupiter and I don't believe in coincidence. So, you know, pay attention because something is definitely, definitely going on. Ah, yeah. That is a, the full moon is a pivotal point and I don't know what it means. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The, you know, this is it. Things are going the other way. They really are. You know, there's finally, there's movement in June. There's momentum that's here. I love this. You're leaving a lot behind. And it, it's not a, how can I put it? It's not a hurtful thing, whatever you leave behind. It is, you know, in order to move toward what will make you happy, all right? You know, it's like 
doubting that it will ever happen. And then it comes. It, it's like, I don't want to say that it's like flipping a switch. Where, you know, you wake up one day and, and then the next day something's totally different. Although that is possible. But I do get the sense of, you know, that all of a sudden things just start to move. They start to happen. And, and you know, what are the reasons? If we think of them in terms of, you know, the planets, we have Mercury going direct on the 3rd, moving into Gemini on the 13th, and leaving Shadow on the 18th. We have the sun shifting signs. We have all these different things happening, which are just kind of putting everything into place. And you could finally begin to feel as though your luck is changing. I mean, it's just been a while, you know? It really, really has. There's, there's points in the story where you can look back at moments where things happened and see what happened with you, see what happened with people that you know and you know and how it just went forward from there but it didn't seem to go like someone had hoped that kind of thing you're just finally getting somewhere this month all right and like I said there is this something that's coming your way it's not seen just yet but you will all right just know that you may not be in charge of the timing, all right? Like, you want it to happen now, but the timing may be different. Like, like I said, if there's other people, you have to, I want to say August, late August, early September. I'm just going to throw that out there because that's what is flashing in my mind that there's something happening at that time. Mm. Well, see, we don't know what other people are doing. All we can do is take what's here for you now, this month, and work with it. And I mean really, really work with it. Because we're going to be talking again, you know, probably August, September, about a slowdown that's coming. And so, as things start to pick up this month and they're moving, you will not want to be wasting any time. Trust me. You need to, you know, do as much as you can, put as much into play as you can, and get it going. Because time is of the essence. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.